morning everyone. I'm Tati. I'm Francis. And we are here to demonstrate and explain the, the moment law of conservation, conservation moment. moment. So let's go. So what is momentum? Momentum is defined as the motion of the mass of an object because objects have mass and any moving object also contains momentum. The law of conservation of momentum states that the total momentum of two or more objects acting upon one another will not change, provided there are no external forces acting on them. In other words, when two objects collide, the total momentum, the total collision will be the same as the total momentum after the collision. One coin gains some momentum, the other coin loses the same amount. And so as a result, you can see that the total value remains the same. And that's why after a collision, the total momentum has to remain the same. If you take the mass of any object and multiply it by its velocity, then that number is what we call momentum of that object. Let's say we calculated the total momentum of both the coins that move before the collision and you've calculated the total value, it's called the total initial momentum. Moving forward, we look at the situation after the collision and again calculate the total momentum. We'll call it the total final momentum after collision. This principle says the two will be equal to each other. So after the collision, the coin on the first end has stopped moving, while the other coin on the other end has moved which clearly states that their individual momentum has changed. But the principle says that the total value will not change, so even after the collision, the total momentum remains the same. And that's why we say the total momentum is conserved. For more physics tutorials and lessons, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment down below for any other ideas, and like our videos.